Here, the blue trucks. Come on. Well, it's Taiwan. Our shirt, our shirt, like food. How can I be here for so long and not speak the language? Like probably the first foreigner who likes it. It's so good. You put on the rice with soy sauce, dude. That's good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Completely fluent English, Hebrew, Russian. Conversational Chinese. Like conversation plus. Mm -hmm. Like I can hold a basic conversation in Chinese, mm -hmm. but the very super super details. It's beyond my knowledge. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I would say I can read about like 60 or 70 percent of the characters. Mm. Like I can I can read solidly Chinese. It's not a problem. Better than my speaking. I can also speak basic Spanish. I can understand uh, basic Nigerian pidgin. Wow, Nigerian. I was growing up, I had many Nigerian friends, uh -huh. so I kind of picked it up. But before we start our interview in English language, Niki, just how did you? Okay, okay, how long ago? So, did you means like how long I've been, right? Like story. No, introduce no. myself. Yeah, yeah. Hello, everyone. My name is Niki. I'm from Taiwan. 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 Oh, we know all the basics and he's been living in Taiwan for 22 years and which makes you almost Taiwanese But the thing is you see a lot of people would say this right? How can I be here for so long and not speak the language? Yeah, okay That's that's, that's a question. Yeah, I know that's a question. That's a question I get asked. First of all, it's my fault Of course. I came, <laughs> I came to Taiwan. I was very young growing up. I would move a lot Yeah, when I was growing up, I moved the country every two to three years. So when I came to Taiwan I was like, oh, I'm gonna leave in two to three years. Uh -huh. So my brain was like, I don't need to study language, I'm oh. gonna leave anyways. And that's on me. That was my mistake, I know. I know the comments is gonna be all like, oh, you've been here for so long, like, oh, you don't speak the language. Yeah. Okay, I know. Even though you've been living here for 22 years, yeah. you're still kind of white right? right? Always will Just be white I still look like white I will yeah. always be white I've accepted it. Yeah. Even though culturally, you know, I understand more Taiwanese culture than I do my own culture. Mm -hmm. So I understand how things are done here, how things work here, mm -hmm. how to talk, how to act. Even though I'm, I'm very proud of Mm -hmm. My heritage and where I'm from, I feel culturally I understand Taiwanese culture a lot more. No, nice. I, I like it. I enjoy it. I really like Taiwanese culture. It's very interesting. Ni chu Taiwan de xie xiao. You went to Taiwanese school. I didn't go to Taiwanese school. I didn't go. Ah, wo chu zai international school. Ah, you went international. Ah, o zhao shui xiao. Oh, okay. This is the one up on the average channel. Yeah. So everything, all my education was in English. Makes sense. Makes not sense. an excuse for not knowing Chinese, though. Not yeah. An excuse. Not an excuse. But anyway. <laughs> What Taiwanese environment, Taiwanese culture taught you the biggest lesson for you? I would say the biggest lesson the Taiwanese culture has taught me would be patience. You have to be very patient and very understanding with everybody around you. If you do something wrong, people are not like, oh, you did this. It's like, okay, you know, people are very patient with you. But sometimes, you know, you, you don't know what the person had to go through to get to this point in their yeah. life. So it just taught me to be very patient, to talk like slowly, to really like mm -hmm. understand, to try and understand a person and really to kind of comprehend what it is. Actually, this is a good point. I've been thinking about this a lot. It's the same. We Russians, we, we can get angry easily, right? Mm -hmm. So when you write, someone cuts you, <laughs> like you start screaming, you get yeah, angry, right? Yeah, yeah. And this is really stupid. You're just wasting your energy, exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. And my wife, my wife always say like, stop! And I'm shouting like, why are you angry? Yeah. It's just no, but I'm situation. Stuck. You need to pay attention. Yeah, yeah but you, I mean, you see how. Taiwan drives. Yeah. You see I the mean, driving here, the blue trucks, come on. It's, it's understandable. It's hard to be patient. Driving in Taiwan has taught me patience as well. Yeah. To be like, okay, cool. Right. 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 I'm also like learning with help of my wife, you mm. know, like to be more patient. People make mistakes, you accept of course, it. Of you, course. you help them, it's cool. For sure, 100%. Getting back to, to driving though. Yeah. What about driving? <sighs> Taiwan. I've been driving a car for 10 years here in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. The trucks. blue trucks, the taxis, woo, patience. <laughs> yeah. Have you been in any car accidents? I actually had one recently, actually. Really? Yeah, I had one about two months ago. So I was driving in this alley, right? Mm -hmm. And there's a guy in front of me. It's like a one-way one, one -way street. Uh -huh. And the guy in front of me, he stopped. Yeah. And then I stopped. 
and he started reversing and he hit me backwards. Oh, okay, I got it. Yeah, but to give him credit, even though I didn't have the recording of it, right? Uh -huh. And it would look like he hit, it was the front of my car and the back of his. Mm -hmm. When the police arrived, he did tell them like, oh, it was my fault this happened and this. Okay. So this everything, like everything a... was very calm and very organized. It's actually, it's another point. A lot mm -hmm. of Taiwanese are really honest. Yes, I would agree with that. There's no, like, no bad intentions when certain things, you know, if you need help, like, for example, you, you need help with something, like many people will go out of their way to help you. Very endearing. It's very, very heartwarming, and you can see it's very mm. genuine. Do you have any stories about like? I've, I mean, when I've been lost before, I would ask somebody for help. Like, oh, mm -hmm. how do I get here? So even if they need to go that way, they would still go with me this way all the way to where I need to go, just to be like, oh, here. Yeah. And I felt like, wow, this is really, they did it because they wanted to, not because they had to. And that's very genuine. So whenever I try, I also try to kind of help as well. As yeah, well. sometimes I feel really guilty. I lived in Russia for mm. like 20 something years, right? You're always kind of cautious about certain things. Mm -hmm. One time I was in the alley, the like Shaoshanzi. I was just like uh, walking slowly. Mm -hmm. And I, I saw a man, narrow alley, no people there. Mm -hmm. Guy just started staring at me, like, you know watching me what I was doing mm -hmm. and I kind of got a little bit angry like what the hell are you, are, are, are you looking mm -hmm. at me yeah mm -hmm. because it's normal reaction for Russian people you don't look you know yeah. in, in Russian people eyes it's like you're like trying to find some problems yeah and for me it was like natural Russian reaction yeah. I was like like what and guy just came to me said oh buhau isi nimi lula woki bani jao nimi difan Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my god, I like, I got like, you know, that's so calm or calm. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and I was just feeling like, you know, it's like stupid. I just felt angry at some person who wanted to help me. There are certain things in the culture that you're used to. Yeah. So you, it takes time to get used to the different culture. Even for me, when I go back to my home country, mm -hmm. I'm so used to culture in Taiwan that I do things differently back home. And then people even, they can see that they're like, oh, you're not like you're, you're for Israeli, but you don't live here, do you? My point that Taiwanese are like super nice, super nice and, and kind. You don't expect it. Yeah, exactly. I had one time, uh, I had a problem with uh, one of, with my car. Yeah. Uh, the light in the back. So usually back in our home country, right? They'll be like, oh, go to a mechanic, mm -hmm. pay the mechanic, they'll fix the light for you and this. Yeah. So this guy that works there literally opened the, the back, uh -huh. took out the broken bulb, put in a new one and closed it. And we're like, oh, how much? He's like, no, no. Wow. And then that's it. Wow. So that kindness, that's like, you know, he didn't have to do it, but he did do it. And yeah. that was super nice of him. Let's switch the topic. What do you usually eat in Taiwan? Because like 22 years, you yeah. are more used to Taiwanese food than I eat Israeli everything. food. I, that's true. I like food. I like food. <laughs> I can yeah, see. So Robert, I found that I really enjoy like New Roll Chow Fun. Oh. That's probably my one of my favorites. I love New Roll Mian. Dumplings, I like a uh, Shui Jiao or... Mm -hmm. Gautier, Gautier. I found out actually I really like Zhu Urzo. Or, or, or. Oh really? You oh, like it? I love it. It's the crunchiness. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I really? like it. I love it. It's good. I cannot eat it. Really like it. I like. Like probably the first foreigner who likes it. It's so good. You put on the rice with soy sauce, dude. That's Good, bro. What I don't like though, mm -hmm. I don't like tofu. Not just stinky tofu, any tofu. Just any tofu. Any, any tofu. I don't like tofu at all. Like dogan, dopey, anything. All tofu. I do like uh, doya. I love that. It's so good. So good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't like a hot pot. Really? I don't like hot pot. Nah. I don't hot like, pot? You don't like hot pot? I don't like hot pot, dude. Why? I don't know. I just it's not my flavor. But they're like different flavors. Still, man, I haven't found hot no. pot that I enjoy. You've lived here 22 years, a really long time. Let's talk about some nice places in Taiwan. Taiwan has a lot of nice places. That's very hard to pick one. I'll go like a few. I'll break it down into two categories. Okay. Major tourist attractions and like less known. Major tourist attraction. I'll start with Taroko as my number one. Taroko Gorge. Alishan. Mm -hmm. Hehuashan. Like I like mountains and nature and stuff. That would be beautiful. Less known, I'll go with uh, Shell Temple. So there's a temple in the north in Yangmin Shan that's made out of seashells and corals. The whole temple is just made out of seashells and corals. Probably one of my favorite places. I've been here for 22 years. There's one place in Taiwan I have not gone to yet. Yeah, we wish one. Taidong. Really? I've familiar. never been to Taidong. So Taidong is one of the places that I have to get to. Actually, my favorite city in Taiwan is Tainan. Tainan. I really like Tainan. It's a very special history and the food and everything. Tainan for me would be my number one city. 
pretty nice old houses mm. which are like from like Dutch era. Dutch you know, most buildings in Taipei they're all modern. So yeah, it's, it's mm. very cool. Not a lot of history to see. I like the Taipei Zoo. I really enjoy going. Taipei Zoo. Because when I was younger, I wanted to do animal behavior. Like, I really wanted to study animals. In comparison to your country, mm -hmm. what are some traditions or customs in Taiwan mm -hmm. which you are the most impressed of by, you know? The one I find really cool. And this is a very small thing, uh -huh. but I think it's super cool. So basically, during exam times in Taiwan, right? You pray to this one god, I don't know his name, mm -hmm. but he sits on a bull, on, a, on like an ox or a bull, uh -huh. I'm not entirely sure. So because of that, you're not allowed to eat meat. Like, you're not, sorry, you're not allowed to eat beef, Zam god or something, uh -huh. but he, because he rides on a bull, you're not allowed to eat beef mm -hmm. during that time, and then once you finish your exam, then you pray to this god, and then you can eat beef again. Oh, I, so I find that super cool. Yet. I find that super cool. There's, a, there's something I do not like about the culture, I'll be honest. There is something. There is Attention? Something. Uh -huh. I don't like uh, Meibangfa. Oh, I don't like that culture. Word. And I don't like the Meibangfa part. Because it's like, it means, oh, this is impossible to do, right? But honestly, it feels more like, I don't want to do it, so I'm not going to do it, so Meibangfa. Yeah, good example. This is no straight translation to Russian language. Or English, into or any English language. language. There's no language, yeah. you can't translate it. It's not really an answer, you know? Yeah. It's and like, I, it, it annoys me. I'm used to it. Run. I'm used to it. Yeah. But do you have anything that you, th you think is interesting in the culture? When I first came to Taiwan, mm -hmm. I really hate how bus drivers oh, yeah. drive their buses. It drove me crazy. Couldn't speak any Chinese. So yeah. I didn't speak any Chinese. And then, after two, three years, when I learned Chinese, and now I can argue with them definitely. Yeah. But now I am not that person anymore. Yeah. Now I cannot argue with them somehow. Mm -hmm. You've integrated into the culture. Yeah. So for me it's like yeah, it bothers me. I want to argue, but I will not. I became part of it. Uh, kind of you know more patient. More patient, and you've just under come. You, you understand know? the culture more. Yeah. And stuff like that. I find really interesting actually. Uh, the funeral culture here. Uh, so I know before that, right? Uh, you, even right now, I've seen it. It's like you have like strippers yeah. at funerals. Strippers at yeah, funerals? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, this for is real? Thing. You can Google it, dude. Yeah, for real. It's the best thing to say, but now I want to go to see some funerals. You know? <laughs> it's, it's very interesting. It's, it's very interesting. Now, I'm not 100% sure yeah. uh, of the reason why, mm -hmm. but what I read, and I might be completely wrong. I might be 100% wrong on this. Oh. Uh, it's more about kind of bringing people to the funeral to make it bigger, mm. to show that there's more people there. So mm. I, that's the thing that I've noticed. Yeah, there is. Sometimes you'll see like during the funeral, like you'd have a truck with a, with a pole and a stripper on it. Yeah, really? Yeah. Not all, obviously, but some, oh. it was it's a tradition. the funeral your strippers. Not all of them. Some of them. Not some, some of them. Some of them, yeah, some of them. Oh, ho, ho, ho. During these 22 years, mm -hmm. did anything happen in Taiwan that just changed your mind or way of living? For me, it's a little bit different because I, when I came here, I was very young. Mm -hmm. So I came here first time when I was four years old. So it was very... I kind of grew into it. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was the the how things were done and how the culture was was... I was used to it from a young age. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, just different way because for a lot of foreigners who just came here, mm. right? They, they have, have culture shock. They're just like, oh. yeah, there's culture shock. The same as for me, like a lot of things are new. As I it's said at the beginning of this video, Tashig a good show, right? Show You're a, a, a rapper. I try. And now we're actually in your home slash studio. Yeah, or I like can a... show the studio for sure. Yeah. yeah. It's my studio right here. Welcome to my studio. So you record music and you rap? Yeah, so I do recordings, I do rap, I have I work with some producers, I've done some songs with local artists as well. What do you basically do in Taiwan? This is your kind of this like is, this work, is my job. Right? You can rap, right? I, I can rap, yeah, I can do some rap. Let's try some. What if I give you a word, I word. and you can do some freestyle for us? Let's go. Kaima. Kaya. Fetch on the Kaya. Okay, like, let it be. Quiet side broccoli. This broccoli. is me. Okay, broccoli. Okay, okay, Can okay, you do broccoli. some freestyle? Yo, I'm chilling with the broccoli and you know it's so green. Oh, it's a whole scene if you know what I mean. We in Taiwan and the vibe is so real. When it comes to rap, it's the way that I feel. 
Been in Taipei, Tainan, Kaohsiung, y'all know the vibe This is real life if you don't realize This is freestyle from the top of my dome Daja how everybody and welcome to my home Yo, that was good. I appreciate that. Nice bars, nice Thank bars. You. Yeah. So we're going to finish this interview, and the last question is: yes. What else amuses you in Taiwan? Like some less interesting story, and we'll wrap it up. My beautiful Wagali Gongs. Oh, I I love them very much. It's the old guy uh -huh. that has the white and blue flip flops. Which yeah. I have. Should I show my white and blue flip flops? I have them. Sure, I have the vibe. I rock them. Yeah, Y'all know nice. the vibe. Yeah, blue flip flops. White and blue, of course. Yeah. And then you have the old guy sitting there, with the the cigarette. Yeah. Either <laughs> uh, either a Taiwan beer uh -huh. or a Gaoliang bottle, and yeah. with this flip flops with his stomach outside, smoking, just looking. Wakalikong you know what I'm talking yeah. about. This is like uh, hola, 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 kina, kina, hola, hola. I love them. That yeah, yeah. when I see one, my mate, my day, amazing. Yeah, I love them. Local treasure. Local treasure. That is really local a local treasure. treasure. Protect them at all costs. <laughs> you must protect them. Dandy the bao bao, like yeah. a treasure, right? Like bao a treasure. Bao. Fortunately, we will just show this video. Thank you for watching. 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 Ta fanchan de gushi, orche ni mnie ki dinia ta de pindao, ta de na bien yo, ta de chen, liu de ge, nun jo ki tin tin kan. Bye bye. Bye.